It's like candy. Clean your glasses. Yeah. Okay, what have we got today? I'm looking at a new lens. It's always good when you've got a new lens. Well, I say a new lens, I've had it for a while. I've been trying it out and it's my new 28 millimeter, Canon 28 millimeter prime, 1.8. Been meaning to get this lens for a while. Can you see that? Let me show you. There you go, beautiful. Brass ring, EF 28. Cause you know I love shooting with 28 millimeters on the street. 28, I'm a 28 guy. I see in 28 millimeter wide over vision. And um, I do like shooting wider than that, but you get distortion at the edges, which is not really cool. So 28 seems to be the optimum. I have a 24 that I use and I do like that as well. But 28, there's something special about 28. And those of you who have watched this channel over the years know my chin on 28 is my go-to 28, yeah? This is um, vintage 28, vintage. Look at that, let's see if we can get it in focus. Manual M42 mount, old school, you know? proper mechanical aperture lovely this is a great lens i love this using this lens however it does have its downsides you know it being so old it's got no coatings on the front <laughs> so when the sun shines you get all these crazy well i say crazy you get these flares which sometimes often adds to the look of the picture. Sometimes it's the flare that makes the picture or makes the image look, you know, gives it that nice vintage look. So I do like this, I do love this lens, but I always wanted to try the 28, the Canon 28, because it's, uh, it's got autofocus on it. A little autofocus switch there, you know, so sometimes when you're on the street and um, you're shooting, you're doing your and something happens really fast, somebody jumps up in front of your lens and poke strikes a pose. When I'm using my, my chin on, it takes me a second to focus it, you know. I mean, it's doable, you know, once, that, once you've done it enough times, you can focus without looking, you know, you just pull it around. It. But what does my head in with the chin on, it focuses the different, <laughs> it turns a different way to my cannons, my cannons focus infinity is to the left is it to the left let's see i can't even remember with this it's to the right and that really does my head in so anyway i wanted to try the the canon 28 and here it is in all its glory cost me 200 quid which is yeah, a fair price this one only cost me like i think it was 30 quid 230 it's canon versus chin on today yeah the battle of the 28s, the 28s. There was a gang called the 28s back in the day around that way. <laughs> Maybe they shot with a 28, who knows? But anyway, I've been trying this out, the Canon one, for about a month now, probably longer. And I'm really liking it, you know? It's, it's had some bad reviews. I looked up the reviews online and people said it's not sharp and it's, you know, it's, it's an old, you know, soft, but I'm not finding that. Not really. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. Let's be honest, <laughs> maybe a little bit. But as you know, if you do know, I'm not a sharp, sharp, sharp guy. I don't want to see the lines in people's faces. You know, I don't want the, well, I want to see them, but I don't want the lines in people's faces to be the reason why you like the image. That's part of the image, but that's not what it's about. I don't want it, the sharpness of the image to be the draw, basically. So this, I think, fits the bill for an intermediate between these two. 
It's 28 millimeter. It has autofocus that this doesn't have. Um, it's got coatings on the front element. I mean, look at the front element. Let's have a look at that element, man. Can you see that? Yes. It's got coatings on the front. So you, the flares are not so crazy like with the, um, with the chin on. That's a beautiful front element, isn't it? Yeah. There's a back. Metal mount. EF mount. So there's no adapters. I've got to adapt this to fit onto my, my 6D. But this is this was made for Canon. It was a Canon lens, isn't it? So it's a proper things. Um, the focusing, it's got a focusing window, which some of these EF lenses with a focusing window, I'm not sure why they've put a focusing window on them because the numbers are so wide between. I mean, you've got three meet, you got 1.5 feet, yeah? Then it's three feet, then it's 10 feet. And I like to shoot seven feet, which is kind of awkward. You've got to set it in between, but I've worked out a little hack of how to get seven feet. On the focusing window at the bottom where the F numbers are, if I, instead of lining up the focusing line, which is in the middle, instead of lining it up, the number up on that, I'm actually lining it up on the F8 to the right of that. So if I put three meters, 10 feet, if I line that up on the F8, I hope you can see that, then the actual focusing mark is right on seven feet or thereabouts. So I can repeatably, repeatably get seven feet by just lining up the F8 to the right of the focusing mark. So, sorted. Just to let you know, issue 16 of Waiting to Crosshair, which is my House of Aisha zine, my photo zine has landed, April edition. Issue 16, you know, 16, we're going on. And it is a 60 pager photo zine, beautiful colors, beautiful images of the streets of Brixton, Boogie Down Brixton, where we dwell, yeah the place where we dwell. And um, it's a, basically a little slice of a book that I'm working on, I've been working on for since 2013. And this is a little, little slice of it. So hopefully the book will be out 2024, hopefully. So in the meantime, in between time, you can get a copy of my zine if you so choose. Check the link below. I give you a little flick flick, should I? Little flick flick. Little flick flick, here we go. Hard to do it this way. There you go. Yeah. The streets of Boogie Down Brickstown. Yeah. The ever changing streets. And I think this is one, is, I always say this, but this one's one of my best. I like the vibe on this one. Because each of my zines are slightly different. Some are street photography, some are lifestyle, some are documentary. Different, different, different ones. So anyway, if you've been collecting them, it's out. Limited edition. Click the link below. Get your zine. So anyway, it's a nice little lens. They're about the same. Oh, I would say the Canon one's slightly lighter because this is made of toughened plastic. This one's all metal, the chin on one's all metal. So yeah, it is definitely lighter, but they're, they're small lenses anyway, so you won't feel the weight of this. And another reason why I, I wanted to get this brass ring, because now I have a brass ring set. This with my 85 1.8 is now my set that I bring out when I do street photography. I have my 28, on the camera body and I have my 85 in my bag, you know? So that if I need to, <laughs> particularly at night, I tend to use 85 at night. So this is my brass rings set, as I call them, because of the rings of brass. Yeah, they're not L lenses, they're not red rings, they're brass rings. This is my brass ring set. And being an Asper, 
I like to line things up. So it always did my head in when I had my brass rings with my, with my chin on. Because I've got my chin on set as well. Of course, look, I've got my lovely chin on set. So on overcast days, I can bring up my chin on set. And on sunny days, I can bring out my brass ring set. Another reason why I like the, the Canon 28 is because, well, obviously it was made for Canon, but on sunny days, when I'm shooting F16, you know, you shut down the aperture to F16. Because this is a, this was made for the Canons. When you look through the viewfinder, it only closes down the shutter to F16, the aperture to F16 when you press the shutter. So you can look through the viewfinder and it's clear, you can see. And even if I want to use live view on the back, sometimes because I'm shooting, you know, from the hip and I might set up my little live view so I can do it like this. I'm not actually looking through the viewfinder. With this set to F16, you can still use the live view because obviously it only closes down to F16 when you press the shutter. With the chin on now, on sunny days, when you close this down to F16, the live view is dark because it, it doesn't open and close down. It's always closed down because it, this wasn't made for Canon. This is modified for Canon. It's a manual lens. So that is a drawback for the chin on. Um, has the chin on got anything over the Canon? Yes, the chin on, what brings the chin on over the Canon, of course, is this, the, the that focus range, that, look at that scale, man, you know, that is just, everything is implemented properly, you got all the feet, can you see that? There's no skimping when it comes to the measurement scale, although it, focuses back to front which is kind of annoying and their f numbers you just click them on the barrel which is always handy it is kind of awkward changing f numbers with the rear dial which is what you have to do with the cannon i know i know you can switch it to the front dial I'm, i've been thinking about doing that actually switching because you can switch those two around so that this can be that the um aperture and the back wheel can be the shutter speed. So I might do that, but then again, that's gonna throw me, my muscle memory out for when I use my cannons for other things. So I don't know. So there's, there's pros and cons for both. Both are very good. The colors on both of them are very, very good. I love the colors on the chin on. The Canon, the EF lens, the colors are nice, but when you shoot black and white with this, this seems to love black and white. It, it seems to love mono. Really, everything seems to look really good in mono. So now I've got a bit of you know variety in my 28s. And um, I choose them as is. So I just thought I'd come and show you today, latest acquisition, the 28 millimeter, Canon 28 millimeter. It's a thumbs up. Definitely go for this lens if you shoot 28. I know some people don't shoot wide o vision. You know, you might be a, a 35 guy <laughs> or you might be a 50 guy. Mm? Yeah, I'm still trying to get into 50 millimeter on a street and it's, it's really tough for me. 35, I can just about handle because I'm a wide vision. So anyway, I'm going to show you some images. I'm going to fling up some images because that's what we do and show you how we've been rolling with my Canon 28 millimeter. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Proper things.
Yes, I'm gonna put a flag 